If you want to create a template that you want to use throughout, you can go ahead and start by adding photo boxes and clip art and text boxes, or you can simply start with one of our templates and then customize it to your needs and save that as your custom template. And the way you do that would be to go to our art palette over here, and we're going to go ahead and choose the, the template that we want. Now I'm going to go ahead and search for it because I already found it on my art guide, and I know that the name of it is J1 3529. I'm going to go ahead and enter, and there is my template right there. And I'm going to go ahead and click and drag it to any of the pages. And it's letting me know that it's going to clear out any information that's already there because that's what templates do. So keep that in mind if you already have a background. And there we go. So now we can customize it to our needs. Now I'm going to make minimal changes just for the sake of time. So, but let's say I just simply want to add a title to this page. I'm going to go ahead and select this specific snippet and I'm going to ungroup it by hitting the group and ungroup button right here. I'm going to deselect it and then let's go ahead and dock this to the side so it's out of our way. I'm going to select just this big photo box so I have room for my title. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to go ahead and click Delete. And instead I'm going to, let me go ahead and get rid of this. And we're going to go back to our art palette and insert a shape because I want to put a sh solid shape there. So we're going to insert a solid square. Then of course we can size to whatever size we want. We can change the color of it. And we can also insert a text. Let's go ahead and do this headline text right here. We're going to size it to our needs. And of course it's giving us a warning because that, that text box is too large for what we got there. And I want to change the color of that so it stands out. So we're going to go to the wizard wand and change that color to white. And I want to make sure that it's centered, so I want to center that. And there we go. That is the only change I want to make right now. So let me go ahead and save that into my book, save this page. And now what we can do is we can save it as a template so we can use throughout. So let's go back to our templates. And we're, this time we're going to go to User Created. And we're going to click on these three dots right here. Whenever you see these three dots, it's letting you know that there are more options available. So click on that. And let's go ahead and click on the disk, which is to save as template. It's going to ask us what the name of a template is going to be. And let's say we want to put our clubs there. So we're going to name it clubs. And we're going to click OK. And now we have a brand new template that it's going to be named Club. So if we go to a page, let's go to a different page. Let's go to page 8. We can click and drag our user created template that we will find in our art palette by clicking, clicking on templates, then user created. And we're going to scroll down to what we we'll see clubs right here. That's what I did. This is the one right here. And we're going to click and drag it. And now we have our created template right there that we can customize and fill in with our photos. 